What's up guys, it's Exodus, and I'm bringing you my Niner subscriber tutorial. Thank you so much for Niner subscribers, and I'm looking to keep up more content. Maybe I want to do more tutorials in the future. I really like doing them, I enjoy doing them. I, my last tutorial got maybe 2k views, and yeah. So, this is my second take. Last time I had 9 minutes, so let's try to bring that down. <laughs> Okay, so first thing you want to do for your final image touch-ups, you want to duplicate your background. You want to go up here and go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Keep it at 1.5 pixels. And then you want to grab your eraser. And just erase the foreground, just places that you want people to see the most, uh, like letters and stuff. So yeah, your render wants to be visible, and then you want to keep things in the background to add perspective. So just add just random, yeah, <laughs> and then merge them and duplicate it again. Now you want to go to blur again, go to radial blur, zoom blur, make sure that is checked, uh, quality on good, or best, it doesn't really matter, I would just keep it on good. Uh, amount is 10. So yeah, just click on that and it will zoom blur like that. Um, go to this and click lighten. And it will add kind of a lighted effect, like a light burst. It looks really nice. Uh, I use this on my colorful banners, like my stalagmite banners that I think should have this. So, yeah. And then just erase the parts that aren't really colored, like the black parts where the particles are, because you don't really need it to be zoom blurred right there. And just duplicate those layers. Not duplicate merge layers. Now duplicate the layer. And you want to go up to filter, other, high pass. Uh, keep the radius at 1.5. Yeah, just, yeah, 2.0, whatever looks, like, you have to experiment with this, I had to experiment with this, um, it just makes everything sharper, and you want to take that layer, and you want to go to overlay, and you can see how much of a difference it makes on sharpness, it's so much better than sharpen, um, I would not recommend using it on letters, just my opinion, but like on actual type. Just merge those layers, duplicate, and now you want to go to... what am I doing? You need to go to your rectangle marquee tool. Now, once you have the duplicated layer, you want to hold shift, make a bunch of boxes. For sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to make too many boxes. And just hold control in the right arrow on your keyboard and push it over a few times and that will add glitches, a nice glitch effect merge layers for an RGB split you don't have to do this duplicate, double click go to uncheck G and B on the blending options on the first one and then on the second one uncheck just R and then you're going to want to just right arrow or left arrow over like once or twice and yeah it will give an RGB split lag is that so just duplicate those if you want you can add another sharpen if you want I said that twice um, and then just turn it down a little bit and yeah so make another layer Take an op another color that matches with the color your uh, main color, and just go like add like an underlight like this, or and then make it at lighten and turn it down, and it just adds like a color variety. Uh, you can do like red or purple or something. I'll do pink right here. Actually, I need to make a new layer like that, lighten, and just turn down, and that adds color variety, as you can see. Just merge all those layers. Um, now you want to go to, double click your layer, go to gradient overlay, 
change the scale to 50% right there. Now go to soft light, do not do overlay, and then change opacity to 50%. And you can see how that adds kind of a light coming from the top. Looks nice. You don't have to do it. It's just something I do. I, can, I also do low overlay. Yeah, overlay looks better. Okay, now make a new layer and take your blue color because that is the main color and just make a bunch of like dots everywhere to add lighting. This is what I like to do. Eh, hold on. Put one right there. Alright, now put it at lighten and turn opacity down to maybe four. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, this one does not look good, unfortunately. Oh well. Merge those layers, and yeah, we're almost done. Um, the other thing I can think of is. Hold on. You can add a ripple, a soft ripple, just to give it a glassy effect. I do this in some of my banners. Very soft ripple. Eh, yeah, you can barely see it. But I want to keep the ripple on the atom array, so I just erase everywhere else that isn't doesn't have atom array. Um, the outline atom array, not the grid atom array. So it looks like it's kind of going supernova, if that makes sense. And yeah, that is basically how you do final image touches. I'd say this looks a lot better than the old version of it. So thank you for 300 subscribers. Um, like and comment. And if you like more, if you want more tutorials, subscribe and tell me you want more tutorials and what you want tutorials on. So thank you and peace.